Welcome to 2022 and the first Design Space for Desktop update of the new year. Let's go over what the new features are in this update from January 19th, 2022. This does apply to Design Space for Desktop. It is version 7.0. I'm going to show you as many as I can in Design Space. Some of them I will need to use their images. So let's get started. The first one is Offset Improvements. Offset was released in 2021. It was available for Mac operating systems and Windows 10 64-bit operating systems. It is now available on all supported desktop operating systems, including Windows 8 and Windows 10 32-bit. If you were able to run Offset before, I'm guessing it'll be a little bit smoother. If Offset is now available to you on the desktop. I hope you enjoy being able to use it. For more information about Offset, go ahead and check out the video that I have a card for in the corner as well as linking below. Just as a reminder, Offset is still in beta on all of the desktop platforms. You will get some bugs, like when I'm trying to do an Offset on this star. Three of the points won't come out on Angular but they're fine when I change to rounded corners. On the Cricut blog, when you are browsing through reading articles, if you see a project you like, a lot of times they'll link it. Now when you click on it, instead of opening up in Design Space, it opens up in a web browser and you can make or save the project by either downloading the app or opening in the app. It will ask me if it can open the desktop application. Here I'm able to like it, save it. I'm excited about this because if you have an update that you need or if it's struggling to open for whatever reason, you can still look at the project in the web browser, get the information you want, and then open it in the app if you need to. There are Icons now on images showing what type of operation they are. This little scissors means it's a cut file. This is a cut and a draw. There's also draw only and then print and cut images. I really like this because sometimes it's hard to tell whether something is a layered image or if it's a print and cut and what you need to have. For the matte preview refactor, I'm not able to show you these in Design Space because it is rolling out slower than version 7 itself. We'll probably all have this within a few weeks. They are simplifying the move between maps functionality. It used to be when you moved an image from one map to a new map, it would stay in the same position on the map. Now it's going to go to the 0, zero position. I personally am very disappointed about this because I used this old method to place my test cuts. You can see here on the arrows how it's going to adjust where they are moved to. Previously, when a design would auto-rotate, it would do 90 degrees clockwise. Now it's going to go counterclockwise, which is 270 degrees. I have no idea why. So you'll see before, it would look like this. Now it's gonna look like this. I'm so excited for this one. When you are working with the Cricut Joy card mat, designs will automatically be centered to make it even faster to create cards. And now, instead of defaulting to the four and a half by 6.25 inch card size on the card mat, it's going to look at your design and see what the smallest size it can use is and default to the smallest size. I anticipate you'll still be able to go and make it a larger size, but the fact that it's the smallest one and centered by default will be really nice. It'll make things quicker. There were also a lot of different bug fixes, which most of them I don't feel were very important, but Cricut I'm sure did because they were affecting what prices showed on different items. Some of them were really were important and did need to be fixed. So I'm hoping those will help. If you want to see more about Offset, watch this video. 
if you want to be notified when I release new videos about updates as well as tutorials and tips, make sure you go ahead and click subscribe and the bell icon. Thanks so much for watching Hanks, Maker Mentor, and until next time, bye.